I think what we were trying to solve for in creating like a culture of revision is um, students will often do an assignment. In a traditional system, you do an assignment, you get feedback, but then you go to class the next day and you're moved on to the next assignment. That doesn't create much reason for me as a teacher to write very good feedback or specific feedback. As a student, it doesn't make me even need to read it. And if I do, I'm still supposed to apply this piece of feedback to the next assignment, which may not even be appropriate. So what we wanted to do was say, okay, here's a, here's a specific skill, competency. Here's the, the specific sub-skill that I can measure. And then this is the target for you, based on what we know about you, um, that, is your, that is the next growth for you. And if you meet that, no revision. If you don't, it, it really narrows in for a teacher to write very specific feedback. Um, this is what you sort of need to do to this paragraph, to this assignment, to this whatever, um, to reach proficiency. So now I've created a, you, you know, there's a system then in place that um, gives a reason for teachers to write good and specific feedback. There's a reason for students to read it and then do something with it. It is key to the actual learning, and we're able to then turn around in some of those monthly meetings and say, this is what you could, this is what your paragraph looked like before, and this is what it looks like now, and this is what you can do on your own in the capstone. So they're able to then see that growth very specifically. It also broke this thing that we wanted to break, which was teachers would grade, 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 instructional decision. And what we wanted was grade, instructional decision grade instructional decision. So in building the tracker, we've been able to, and, and having that system of, of revision, we've been able to get very specific and not even kill teachers with that specificity because the, if they write their comments into the tracker, it will keep track of exactly where the kid is and what they need to do, and then they'll pull their facilitation plans out of that information. So there's a really nice sort of dovetail or through line for teacher, student, and an admin to see exactly what's going on. It's transparent. You can see it, you can see the revisions, and you can see the growth.